you know, another element that's uh, really uh, important and close to the heart of Tucsonans is Sabino Canyon, oh boy. which was so mightily affected by right. a combination of fire and really and uh, and then monsoon flooding. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little about um, how unusual this event that has occurred to Sabino Canyon. How how right. unusual is it? July 31st, roughly beginning of August of 06, a little over a year ago, we had intense rains, very localized but very intense, and it mobilized debris, mud, rocks, all kinds of things on the mountainside. We had over 500 events through the Catalinas and across southern Arizona as a result of this series of storms. Events and meaning rock slides? Rock slides, mud slides, and Sabino Canyon probably had 100 to 200 of these events alone. This looks like it may have been the biggest such combination of storm and, and debris flow, mudslide kind of events since the Ice Age left, and that was 10 or 12,000 years ago. So it's an amazing geologic right. event, and uh, the pictures show just how, how incredible this was. I was up there just a couple of days uh, after it came down, the first week could get up there, and hiked all the way up to the top, so the slides I've got are ones that, that I climbed yeah. over those boulders to take, and I've, I've never seen anything like so that. So perhaps we can take a look at them and just keep on going, right. and so we've got... This next one uh, shows a section of the highway up around uh, Tram Stop 7 or that 8. That was the tri highway, huh? That was the highway. We're standing on the remnant of it, and you can see a lot of it's been washed away. The culverts underneath were just banged up. And as you look up the canyon, you can see that that canyon used to be just a narrow little gully that was vegetated, and now it's a rock-filled channel with boulders the size of cars coming down it. Right. And then, and then I think we've got another one also that shows what used mm -hmm. to be a bathroom, one of the bathrooms. This, if, you, if you remember Tram Stop 9, the turnaround at the top of uh, Sabino Canyon, there was a big uh, stone outhouse there, restroom facility, and we're standing on the roof of it there. You can see a couple of the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the blocks there, and that, that was the roof, so it's buried 10 feet deep oh in gosh. boulders. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What, what have you learned about debris flows then? Or is this something that is just kind of, quote, Oh, look at this. This is your yeah, map yeah. of debris flows. Right. No, it's not our map. It, this is Google Earth. Oh, and Google, Google Earth, Earth has, okay. has put up a, a set of new maps just a couple months ago. So these are brand new. If you haven't been on Google Earth lately, go look and find Sabino Canyon. Uh, Sabino Canyon there runs from the lower uh, left up towards the upper right. And you can see the highway split off in the upper right corner there. And highway, or uh, tram stop nine, is a little, little indentation there. But each of those bright kind of white streaks coming down there is one of the debris flows. So enough water came down, picked up all the dirt, mud, and it was strong enough and thick enough like a milkshake that it gathered all the rocks and just swept down the mountainsides and then swept down the canyon. So the next slide, before we get to it, if you look in the upper right center, there's kind of a, uh, a narrow figure eight shape, uh, almost like a, a, right. a half uh, of an eye, eye a mask. mask. A yeah. mask, yeah. Right. Take a look at that, and the next slide will be the same shot but from the ground to show you what that looks like. And, and that, <clears throat> pardon me, the debris was not from that rock face at the top, is that correct? That's right. The water came off of that, probably in a cascade, hit that upper part, and there was just so much that it just created chutes or channels and swept everything in its path right down there in a matter of less than a minute. Were you, were you as geologists, were you surprised that at, the, at this event? Yes. Or were you expecting it, kind of? We were surprised. Okay. Now, the question is has something like this happened more recently in the past, or how often have these occurred? It looks like this is the biggest combination of events in over 10,000 years, but we're working with Pima County right now. We're mapping all of these events, and particularly along the, the front of the Catalinas, to see what impact on the foothills this may have. Are there debris flows that have come out further that are more recent that we just never paid attention to, we didn't recognize? And that's one of the things we're finding. We are finding evidence of debris flows coming one to two miles out from the front of the mountains, from the base wow. of the canyons, out onto the foothills that we didn't know were there before. And so what does this mean to, to human habitation in that right. area? It's causing us to rethink development along some of these areas. Um, so we're, we're making the maps right now, and we'll be dating using radiometric age dates to figure out just how old these are. Are they something that's so old that it's, you know, if it happens once every 5,000 years, we probably won't worry about it. If it happens once every 200 years, maybe we ought to be taking a look at it. And that may mean we have to do some, some uh, mitigation efforts, some debris basins or things to divert these to keep those from coming out into homes. 
may right. also impact the way we develop some of the areas right. that haven't been developed. Right. So. My gosh. Mother Nature, right? Yes. 